Hi, Bill Berquist here with Burns Engineering. Today we're going to look at how to specify the proper probe length to fit an existing thermal well. We'll look at our two most popular probe styles here. There's the type L and the type C. First we'll look at the type L. Now the most important dimension that we need to know is the thermal well bore depth. So if we look at a typical thermal well, <clears throat> to get the bore depth, we can measure the overall length, subtract a quarter inch for the thickness of the tip. So for this one, if we go ahead and measure it, we end up with about nine and a quarter inches, subtract that quarter inch, we have a nine inch bore depth. Now that's the number that you use in our model number system to specify the probe length. So for this particular thermal well, we'd want a probe that has a nine inch length. And now this is with the spring not compressed, it's just in a relaxed, relaxed state. Uh, the, probe on the, the spring on these probes compresses about a half inch when, you, when they're installed in the well. They'll compress about a full inch um, so, you know, if the, that's to take care of some of the, the tolerances on the thermal wells when they're manufactured and also the probe lengths. Then we can see we put this probe in this thermal well and it bottoms out just before the threads engage. So we can just go ahead and, and screw that together. Now when we look at our uh, type C probe, which is this one, this has an external spring. It assembles a little bit differently. If we take the same thermal well with the, with the nine inch bore depth, and we can install this probe right in this one but it's a little bit too short because of the way that this probe fits in a connection head. This type of probe requires an extension between the connection head and the probe. Take a look at a, a typical assembly here. We'd have connection head and it would install into the into the thermal well and we can see you know this probe is way too short for this assembly. Take a thermal well that, that just happens to be the right uh, length here. This one if we measure this overall length six and a quarter inches it has a six inch bore depth. The pipe nipple extension on this style assembly adds three inches to that bore depth number. So that six plus the three inches gives us a nine inch probe length and that's the number that you would use in our part numbering scheme. So if we screw this all together, these threads engage about a half inch so actually the pipe nipple overall is four inches but after it's installed it's just three inches between the thermal well and the connection head. So now if we were to go ahead and measure our, our, our total bore depth here, we'd end up with that same nine inch dimension. The probe just slides right inside the connection head. And then the terminal block has a little hole in the middle. Just thread the lead wires through that. And the terminal block hits that spring, pushes it down, and holds the probe firmly in the thermal well. And there's two screws that hold the terminal block in place. And to pull the probe out for recalibration, you'd simply just undo those two screws and pull it out as an assembly. Next thing I wanted to show was the addition of an extension with this type L temperature probe. And this is handy for when you have um, a, a situation where you pull the probe out frequently for recalibration. So we can take a pipe nipple and a union 
and we'll grab our L-style probe. Take the other other half of the union, just screws onto the probe. And this makes it real convenient. Uh, these are also adds three inches to that that length. This goes together, and you can just thread this together. You don't have to spin the probe or anything. It's all handled right by this this union. So for recalibration, you just undo this connection, pull the probe out. The wires remain connected to your transmitter head or, or uh, terminal block, and it makes it real simple. Again, these union nipple extensions add three inches to the bore depth. So again, we have this thermal well has the six inch bore depth, add three inches for the union nipple extension. That gives you a nine inch depth, and that again is the length of the probe that you would specify for this type of assembly. If you have further questions, feel free to contact us at info at burnsengineering.com or call 800-328-3871.